Mining in Zimbabwe has a flat tax rate of 15%. With your special initial allowances, that comes down to 8%, which is phenomenal. You're not going to get that anywhere else. So there is a huge incentive. Your capital equipment is duty free. The key is that there are mines that are existing. They've missed out on the commodities boom of the last decade. So there's underexploited reserves that are sitting there. They're currently being mined by, by and large, very reputable, decent organizations who don't have the capital to utilize it, utilize the mines to their full potential. Gold is the one for me. Coal as well. There are huge coal reserves that are also not being exploited. There is a seam in, in the Sengwe area, which is 11 meters thick. It runs from the uh, thermal coal at the top to the coking coal at the bottom. And I'm told the, the proven reserves are 1.2 billion tons. Despite the brand drain, there's a lot of people that are highly skilled still in Zimbabwe and still looking for work. What are the downside risks that are visible? I think the main downside is your basic services. Energy is, the, is a key, key factor for mining. And there are still problems with, with power, water as well, to a lesser extent infrastructure.